So our experiment today is with the Arduino Uno. You can see there's my wiring, um, and I've made this little uh, diagnostic, I guess you would call it, uh, a probe is probably the best term. It's made out of a dual binding clip uh, to which I've attached two leads that run to squares of aluminum foil. Uh, I just pressed onto the uh, looped exposed wire and uh, that runs into my breadboard here and through a 10 kilo ohm resistor um, the purpose of which and here's the code that's of course already uploaded onto the Arduino is to measure the conductivity of liquids so here is some regular filtered water from the water fountain outside. Uh, and I'm going to open the serial monitor so we can observe what's happening. And the laptop is also of course powering the Arduino right now to the micro USB. So right now we're not getting any readings because the circuit is, clo is uh, clo uh, not closed. And uh, But here once I I'll keep it so we can see both in the same shot. So, once I lower the probe into the water, immediately we get a reading, and it updates every uh, five seconds. So, as you can see, it does the math in the programming uh, to give you an approximation of the uh, impurity in parts per million of the water. And Let's see. It's not uh, remarkably consistent, but um, as you can see, we're getting it's staying within the range of. Um, well, it's, the first reading was 12, but it might not have had a full connection then. But it's staying within the range of about 40 to 120 parts per million, rather consistently, with some minor variations outside that, like that one. Actually, that's within the range. Looked like a two on my phone, but uh, you'll see. We can test its accuracy and efficacy by uh, using some science salt here. I'll just pour some in there. <clears throat> and my science fork. Okay, so once we insert the probe again, of course we're getting new readings, and let's see where they go to. See that one's up to 200 and something. That one's just over 100, but 155. The first one was at 220. So, and they're staying in the mid to high hundreds. So you can, there's another over 200 reading. So you can see with enough data, you do get a pretty decent picture of the purity of the water. I'll go ahead and add some more salt so we can see a more dramatic rise in the numbers. reading never seems to be super accurate but there you go there's a 462 parts per million that one's 364 366 rather 329 so you can see it definitely does give you at least some indication um, that one's all the way up to 488 of the water's purity um, of course my hand is I don't have a stand built for this thing my hands moving around a little bit so that's um, of course gonna and I'm sure it's not fully dissolved the salt but 
um, it's a fairly effective tool uh, for rudimentary purity of water analysis. Thanks for watching.